Good morning, you guys. It is time for your health check. And I know you've heard this, food is medicine, right? Well, a company that's recently moved its headquarters from California to Texas is trying to spread that message through medically tailored meals. a little hotter. Give me about 30 seconds. Jason Klingsierg is culinary director for Roots Food Group. It's something new. It's something fresh. He's come up with recipes and ready-made meals that are delicious. There's just a very small amount of oil and nutritious. It's 330 calories. It's 11 and a half ounces of food. So very hearty meal. Specifically designed for people with heart disease, hypertension, high cholesterol, kidney disease, and diabetes. It's a way to treat chronic disease either after it's happened or before it happened. They offer a constant rotation of recipes and everything conforms to national guidelines. Approved by dietitians, nutritionists, our food scientists, and culinary. Robert Jones is a pioneer in this field. A former farmer, he's passionate about getting people back to the roots of clean eating. We have to shift back to real food. Cheap food turned into a very expensive problem and it's highly processed food that's really got us to where we are today. Italian seasoning and garlic powder. Roots also offers medically tailored produce boxes with recipes taking the guesswork out of how to cook healthy. We want to encourage people to cook and we want them to feel comfortable with that. Chef Jason's recipes call for sodium-free seasoning to reduce salt intake, coconut aminos instead of soy sauce, potato starch instead of corn starch, and a blend of hearty vegetables and antibiotic-free proteins. Let's be clear, this is not a diet plan. It's about learning how to change your behaviors. But if they're eating healthy five days a week, two meals a day approximately, they're gonna see positive results. Planting the seeds for a shift in your health and in healthcare. All right, so right now, Roots Food Group works with hospital systems and health plans. So let's say you live in California and you are part of Medi-Cal. Well, starting in January, they're going to cover 21 meals per week. Right now, there's federal legislation pending for this to be covered across America by Medicare and Medicaid. So those of us in Texas, sit tight, write your senators, talk to your doctors uh, about this concept. It's a concept, Kara, that I love and the fact that there are people working on ways to improve your health aside from just medicine, you know, is something that I've been talking about for a long time. Well, we've been seeing um, health and wellness being incorporated into more insurance plans across the country. So there must be a market out there when we're seeing, um, you know, activities like gardening becoming, you know, something that insurance uh, companies are paying for. And this is, is similar. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the pandemic has accelerated that thought process, right? People um, in the first months and weeks of the pandemic were messaging me going, what can I do to boost my immune system? What can I do to be healthier? Well, it's not going to happen in two weeks or two days. Um, it's something that you've got to consider takes a time. And as you and I have talked about, it takes a while for you to get used to the, the changes of the tastes of some of these foods, mm -hmm. to experiment with them. And the most important part is to get your kids to enjoy these as well. And the empowerment of knowing how to cook it. I mean, that's like half the battle for me <laughs> and for a lot of us out there. I know. Same here. Same here. But it is worth it in the long run. All right. Thank you, Sonia.